to Ergo Glast. It is Glast, isn't it? Is that what your name is? Yes. Okay. Phew. Got that right. Now, these weapons, they all have different stats. To find out what the percentage is, hover over it at the top. You can see this one has magnetic as its bonus, 43%. It can go up to 60%. This has heat, 36%. The sword I'm going to pick up that everybody's going to call me stupid for only has 28%, but I want it now and I'm not waiting anymore. And this, what I was tempted on, do not care that this only has a 28% bonus on it. You can increase that in the future. You can increase this in the future by combining two of these together. It means buying one in the future that has a better role on it, but... I'm not that interested at the minute, I just want this thing. Why? Well, because I have not been running a melee weapon since this update went live, trying to get a hold of this thing, but I concentrated too much on other stuff. I should probably equip that one day and finish leveling it, same with that, but no, I want to finish this. Oh, no, that's only on three former. I thought it was further. No, it's you that is now finished, but now... Finally, I can go here and try and find where this thing is. There it is. Oh. As expected, it only has a capacity of 30, which means having to get four more of these, which is going to be straight up nightmare. But that's going in there. Don't care. One of the first former I'm going to put on this is going to be right there. And for those who want to mention it, yes, I did sacrifice a little bit of damage, about 200, but it nearly doubled the crit chance because I threw the Umbral mods in the Sacrificial mods, which is Sacrificial Steel, which is 275%. Yeah, over the 120%. It almost over doubles the crit chance. It doesn't totally double it, but near enough and to be fair, I know that I should be putting other mods in here, like, uh, I was really hoping that, yeah, it is, that, which sadly kind of takes away from some of the crit chance, but you can heavy more, but I'd rather have the slightly higher crit chance all of the time with that in there, because you have to former this thing five times, yeah, you can fit whatever kind of build you want in here, but 142.5% crit chance with a 46 times multiplier and 74.8% status. Yeah, I can just swap the status up like this at any time and have basically any variation. Well, I'd have to swap those two. That I want. It doesn't change the total damage or anything else, but damn this thing. I just wish... I could get it with a higher percentage to it. There is something about this weapon that I am having way, way too much fun with. Uh, these are supposed to be level 50s, but... Um, goodbye. Goodbye. Get back here. And goodbye. I'll admit, it's not a one-shot melee weapon in the slightest, but... Um, oh. Wait, why did you put the melee away? Oh, I aimed. That would do it. But, yeah. Level 71. Gone. It, for some reason, is hitting like a powerhouse. And I... I cannot figure out why. Somehow, it just ended up absolutely amazing. I knew it was going to be a good weapon. I didn't think it was going to be an amazing weapon. More of you! Go away! No, no, I need to take on the boss. I need to hit the boss with this and see what happens. And I've been slowed by something. Goodbye. Ah, oh, That wind-up is so long, though, for heavy attacks. It's the same on all melee weapons. The biggest problem with this, of course, being the fact that it takes five former. I didn't have a stance former, so I ended up basically just putting the wrong stance into the wrong place. Zero. Let's go. Ah, and the door didn't open. Big on. Oh, yes. I, I am absolutely loving this. At first, I regretted picking this thing up because it was not what I was hoping it was going to be. And now it does that. 
And you're upstairs, aren't you? You would be. Of course you would. And then I would do something stupid like that instead of like that. I really, really wished instantly that I had picked up the other melee weapon. The one I will be picking up shortly because I still haven't got enough uh, hollow keys to pick up the other one. But as soon as this thing got to 40, it just got... Yeah, they were dead before it did the second swing. Heavies don't go down that quickly. Yeah, stop glitching through doors, please. At all. A heavy should not go down that quickly. There is something about this that... That was 84,000 damage. At least it looked like it. It might not have been... I honestly am just having way too much fun with this because it's doing things that I didn't expect it to do. I thought it was just going to be another attempt at, yeah, thank you, making a, a new heavy sword that is going to have a little bit of damage to it. Not this thing that we're going to have to take elsewhere to just annihilate all. Or, instead of the steel path, I could just come here and go, well, that's a level 92. Oh, we should have brought some, a frame that's more defensive for this and probably has, well, they do this great aura that um, kind of gives you extra melee damage. Probably would have been better than what I have currently brought in. Mind you, at the same time, my sentinel just killed that and that. And go on, take out this level 94. No? Okay, I'll do it myself. Oh, I just love the fact that, as you could imagine... Oh, wow, that is way more enemies than I expected. Way, way too many enemies. As the melee combo counter goes up in the bottom right, the damage goes up. Uh, which means they go down quicker. They go down quicker. Come back down. Thank you. And you're done. And I do believe that might be all enemies. Gone. Oh, poor level hundreds. Where did you go to? So even though the Tenet exec I have is only a 28% toxin bonus to it, it's still going to be better in time. And this was the one weapon out of all of the tenets I was looking forward to the most. It was also, sadly, I really don't want to say the most disappointing one, but I was expecting this to be so good. It is. There's not really much wrong with it. It does a lot of damage. The obvious added bonus to them does more damage anyway. That crit chance is insane. But I kind of can't go without saying that the Tenet Agendus is just... It doesn't really do more damage. That is more of a status-based weapon. But my one of those has 52.8% uh, fire on it and it is noticeable. So upgrading this in the future... So it has more of that bonus damage. At this point, I don't care what the bonus is. But I need to upgrade the bonus. Getting these things sub 30%. Acceptable? Not the best. But with that, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.